Hi all, I am Khanam and this will be our fourth video in Redux series. In this, we are going to see about Redux architecture. We will understand how the data flows in our application when Redux is used. From application to store, from store to application, how the data is getting flowed inside Redux. And also we are going to understand the four main pillars in Redux. Those are, we have application, we have action, reducer and store. Application is nothing but what user can see, basically front end part. Whenever we open website, we have buttons, we have images, we have text, we have input fields, we have buttons. That is called as application. Okay, that is nothing but our view. What user can view? We have action, we have reducer, and we have store. Action, reducer, and store are the main concept in Redux. Once you understand about these three concepts, you are almost clear with Redux architecture. But in Redux, data flows using these four main pillars application action reducer and store previously we have already seen we have our app we have our application and if application wants any data in redux the entire application state data will be stored inside the store so if my application wants the data they can directly call this store and they can get the data not only one application, we will be having plenty of components inside this. If this component wants the data, then also I will get, if view 3 wants the data or view 2 wants the data, then also directly I can get from the store. I can have multiple components and all the components can get the data from the store. This is what we have understood from Redux. But here, how the data is sent inside the store. We have not seen that. But data is present inside the store. And applications or components can get the data from the store. But how the data is sent inside the store. Now if I am doing any changes in the application. I don't want to go manually inside the store. I don't want to change my code. Okay. It should be happen dynamically. Background itself it should happen this. So, what we will do, now here comes the picture of action, we have application, we have action and we have store. Now, what happens, from application, the data will be sent to action. Now, what data in the sense, now suppose a new user has come inside my website and the user is getting logged in. User will fill all his details, user will provide first name, last name, email, mobile number, everything, gender, mobile number, email, everything. The user will give all the data related to the login form, whatever I have asked and the user will click on submit button. Now that user data from application, it will be sent to an action. Not only that data. The data from the API, the data from user login, checkbox data, whatever actions we are performing inside the application, that data will be collected inside the action. And from store, we have seen from store, we can get the data. But here, from action, directly we cannot pass whatever data I am having that cannot be passed inside the store. So, for that, we have reducer. So, in Redux, what happens? Our application data, whatever new data I am having, that application data will be sent to an action. And from action, the data will be sent to reducer. And from reducer, the data will be sent to store. And from store, the data can be sent to an application. Okay, that is our components. So now basically what is happening here? Now whatever data we are having inside app that is sent to an action. Now what action will do? It will tell what to do with this data. 
action will tell what to do red user will tell how to do how to manipulate that data then that manipulated data will be sent to the store and whatever previous data we were having inside the store that will be updated and this application will always be subscribed to this store. Now in YouTube also we have subscribe button and also we have bell notification. When you subscribe to my channel and when you click on that notification, whenever I upload any video, you will get notification. So in the same way, this application is always subscribed to this store. Now, whatever changes are happening inside this store, that is, we are updating the data. That updated data will be reflected in application, that is, our components. So, basically, action will collect the data from application, and that data, based on the action, that data will be sent to Red User. Red User will send the data to the store, and whatever previous data I was having, that will update and I will be getting the new state. Now that new state is my current state. Now if I just take an example, now suppose from application view, I am having 10 apples, I am having fruits website and in that I have stored 10 apples and that 10 apples data I have sent to an action and action has given that data to red user now again i have just added 10 more apples inside my website so that data will be sent to an action now what action will do now action will tell red user what to do now 10 apples i have already sent to red user now again i have got 10 apples so what action will do it will tell either to create a new list and add 10 apples inside that or to add the 10 apples in the previous data itself accordingly red user will accept the action and it will collect the data it will either create new list or it will add the data into the previous data and that data will be sent to the store in next tutorial i will be showing you the simple example then you will be having more clear understanding on this architecture now you just have to understand from application to action, action to red user, red user to store, and store to application, the data will be flowed. And the data will flow in unidirection. Directly from application, I cannot send the data to store. From store, I cannot get the data from action. So it is not like that. The data flows in this direction, in unidirection itself. Just remember, action will tell what to do. Red user will tell how to do that. Now this is how our data flows. Now suppose in my application, just imagine I am having one more store. And from there also, I am just getting the data inside the application. But is this possible? No, it is not possible. Because in our entire application, we will be having only one store. We cannot have multiple stores we will have only one store we can have multiple reducers we can have multiple actions like i can increase the quantity decrease the quantity those are the actions reducer we can have multiple reducers but store can be only one inside our entire application if we create one more store that becomes our another application it will not be belonging to this application so in Redux, you should always remember there is only one store. So this is the simple architecture of Redux. Once you understand about this architecture, doing practical will be very easy. In next tutorial, we are going to continue with this architecture. We are going to see the example so that this entire concepts will go inside our head.